What's going on everyone, Mario here with AutoDS. In today's video, we're gonna be counting down some of the most popular products to dropship, but not just that, we're also gonna be showing you a few different methods, some that you probably haven't seen before because we haven't even covered them on this channel before, to overall help you in your product research and keep finding more trending products going forward. So if that's something that you've been wanting to learn, if you want some free products right off the shelf that are pretty much guaranteed to sell, along with a few proven methods for product research, then make sure you check out this video all the way through. Now, as always, to help you out in your dropshipping and to make things just a little bit easier for you, we have an easy to reference cheat sheet with everything that I'm talking about in today's video. Now, if you want access to that, just go ahead and drop a comment down below with the hashtag winning products. And let me know what your takeaway is from this video. Once I see that you went ahead and did that, I'll reply back with a link to the sheet. Now, before we get started with some of the different product research methods, let's go ahead and first clear up one important detail. And that is what exactly are popular dropshipping products? Well, I'm pretty sure you're thinking right now, Mario, I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what popular means and I know what dropshipping products are. It's just products that are selling, right? Well, yes, but to an extent. So check this out. When it comes to popular dropshipping products or just overall winning dropshipping products, there's two different categories that you really need to take into consideration and that you need to understand. So first you have trendy products. Trendy products are the ones that get these big spikes, make you a lot of money in the moment. This is pretty much one of those products that you make a viral video for. It goes absolutely crazy. You make a good amount of money and then the hype kind of just dies down. And then you're back to having to find something else to sell, something else that's popular, something else that's trending, something that's popping off. This is the trendy products or the trending products. Now, besides that, you have more popular products that are popular overall or Evergreen. So evergreen dropshipping products are products that you can sell pretty much year round. You can sell it whether it's January, October, June, or December. I know those months were completely out of order, but you get the picture. These types of products are the ones that don't necessarily need videos to be sold, even though it can help. Of course, videos and content marketing will always help you, especially in terms of marketing. But these are the types of products that pretty much sell themselves because people need them. They're popular right now. It's things that essentially become part of a lifestyle. So just to show you a visual representation of the differences, check this out. Let's run over to Google Trends, which by the way, Google Trends is definitely one of the most useful pages that we're going to be using for our product research. And this is one reason why you can check out the different analytics and trends to see if something's worth drop shipping or not. So right now we're over at Google Trends and let's take, for example, yoga pants. So once the search comes up, we're going to have these filters up here. Always switch it up from the past day to the past five years. That's going to give us the best visual representation of trends. So check this out. Yoga pants actually have a very consistent trend throughout the entire year. So it's being searched for throughout the entire year from January to December. Now it does have its spikes, so it does tend to sell the most around around the end of the year. So around November, December, and then it starts to trend down around January. But even then in the downtrend, it still has a considerable amount of searches. But besides that, it's not hitting rock bottom. The searching for yoga pants are not just completely stopping. They're continuing. It's consistent. This is an evergreen product. This is a popular dropshipping product that people look for all the time. Now let's look for something else. Let's look for something that's a bit more trendy, something that the trend just, there was a huge hype around it and then it just <laughs> died. Now for this, let's check out Leopard pants. Totally misspelled leopard, but let's go ahead and spell check that. So now that we looked up leopard pants, we have a completely different graph. So if you look at this, you can see that it still has searches throughout the year. Not as much though. So it has very little and then it has this massive spike back in at the beginning of January and then it just completely died down. But it looks to have actually started to pick up a little bit at the beginning of this year and it kind of stayed the same. It looks like it's starting to pick up a little bit, but We'll see where it goes. This could be something that's starting to trend back up, but this is pretty much the biggest difference. As you can see with the yoga pants, it has more of a consistent search throughout the entire year. Whereas these leopard pants, they have somewhat of a consistent search. It's very low, but then it has that massive spike and then it just goes back down. But it looks like it's probably starting to trend again. So we'll see where that goes again. Another perfect example is fidget spinners. So fidget spinners, as you all remember, at one point were just absolutely popping off everyone was buying fidget spinners and then they, they just stopped <laughs> like just the hype for it just completely went away 
nobody's buying fidget spinners anymore maybe a few people are still using them for like therapy and things like that people that can't really stay still they need to keep doing something it's actually really good for them and ever since the hype different types of fidget toys have come out so while the hype for fidget spinners died down fidget toys kind of stayed a bit consistent throughout the year now so as you just learned there's two different types of popular products for drop shipping and you can use google trends to start spotting trends before they even start to happen. But besides Google Trends, what other websites can you use that can help you out in product research and coming up with new products to find? Well, the first one is gonna be AutoDS. Now, in order to gain access to this, you are gonna to need to have an account with AutoDS, but if you don't have one, don't worry about it. You can get started right now for just $1 for the next two weeks. And then once you sign up, you have everything set up, then you're gonna have access to all of these different trending products. Using AutoDS as a tool for automating your dropshipping business is one thing, but using it for your product research, it's a completely different beast. So check this out. Let's just jump on over to our account over at autodias.com and we're gonna run over to the handpicked product section. This is gonna be the best place to do your product research. You also have the ad spy where you can see different ads promoting different products, but right now we're gonna stick to this one because this is the most powerful one that gives you a lot of information. So the handpicked product section are different types of products that are all handpicked. It's a variety of niches, a variety of categories, but these are handpicked by expert dropshippers with a specific criteria in mind. Now, if you look through this entire page, you're gonna keep finding more and more winning products, but let's just go ahead and click into one of them. Let's check this one out right here. This little bus is actually really cool because this is actually a water bottle. Wait, 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 what? So this is completely not what one would expect. This is perfect for kids, especially. And once you click into the product, you get all of this extra information. So first off, you have an engagement score and a saturation score. These two tell you exactly how this product is doing on social media and out on the market. So engagement score is gonna tell you how much engagement it has on social media, while the saturation score is gonna tell you how saturated the market is with this product. As you can see on social media, it's active. There's a lot of buzz or a lot of hype around this product. And in the e-commerce sector, there is a saturation score of 60, which means it's right in the middle of busy, meaning there are a lot of people selling this product, but you still have a lot of room to jump in there and start making some profits yourself. Remember, when it comes to drop shipping, there's gonna be a lot of people selling the same product. It's not always gonna be the product that you sell, but rather how you market your product. Besides that, when you're running ads for your product, let's say on Facebook or TikTok ads, you also have a target audience section. So this right here, this is all the information you need to start running your ads and start targeting the right demographic of people. All of these interests, the occupation, the gender and the age range, this is all relevant to people who wanna purchase or could be interested in purchasing this particular product. This is gonna be different for every item on this list or in the handpicked product section. So it's very important to take a look at this. Now, if you're wondering how much you can sell this product for, we got you on that too. So up here, you have a potential profit. Now, what this means is the potential profit is how much you can actually make after fees. So with this, you can make about $30. It's typically being sold for about $40. Sometimes it includes shipping, sometimes it doesn't. And also you can see how many people have ordered it. So right now, just about six or more people have purchased this particular item. And the last thing that I'm gonna show you is gonna be the social ad section. So this social ad section is just that, it's videos that are advertising this product on social media. Now, typically this is gonna have TikTok and Facebook, but there aren't any ads running for this on Facebook, so there's no section for it here. But that in itself actually presents an opportunity for you. Since there isn't anybody running ads for this product on Facebook, you can go ahead and take these social ads that are here that are running on TikTok, remake them yourself, and then put them up on Facebook. Now, if this is a product that you're interested in, if this is one that you're thinking, whoa, this is great, this is, something that I could definitely sell, then all you have to do is simply click on import draft. And then that product is gonna be added to your draft section where you can make any necessary edits before having it go live on your store. So this is gonna save you a lot of time from having to copy over all of the description, copying over the titles, doing the adjustment for the prices, downloading or saving all of the images, re-uploading them. This is all completely done for you through AutoDS. Okay, so sticking to the AutoDS platform, this next product research method is gonna be the ad spy tool. Now we're gonna quickly go over this because I am gonna show you a different method that's similar to this in just a second, but I do wanna show you this because it's very helpful. So here you have all of the different ads that are currently running on TikTok and Facebook promoting different dropshipping products. Now besides that, you also have a few different filters to select from. I like to do this. I like to go to the amount of likes between 100 to 1000, which could indicate products that haven't necessarily taken off just yet, 
but are starting to get some interaction. Linked product, you can go ahead and select yes or no. I typically keep that blank. Same thing goes for the CTA button. The CTA button, any of these can really be applicable, like shop now, order now, visit store, shop here, order today. So this is another one that I like to keep open, but you can go ahead and specify that down if you want to. And then the interaction rate. The interaction rate, typically, I like to keep more than 2% as well. So once we set those features, then these are all of the different products that we get. So let's just look through some of the different options that are available. And right here, the first one that really stood out to me was this Lash Glue. So here we can see the interaction rate. So there's actually 992 likes, 16 comments and 88 shares. So this is a pretty popular video. It's either trending or it just kind of stopped right before it started trending. So this is something that could very well have a lot of potential. And either way, just under a thousand likes, that's that's a lot. So let's go ahead and see the TikTok ad. So once you click into the actual ad itself through AutoDS, you're going to have all of this extra information. You have the engagement in the last seven days. So as you can see, it's been pretty consistent. All it's really had is just a few views. So it does look like the video itself did kind of just stale out. And then you can see what the product is as well. So down here, you can see what they're selling. And then if you click on see the original post, it'll take you to the TikTok ad through the TikTok website. Now, speaking of TikTok, let's actually run over to TikTok and let's see how we can use TikTok as our product research guide. So one thing that a lot of people do is go on TikTok and simply look up the hashtag TikTok made me buy it. And that works, right? So all I have to do is just go to videos and then you're going to see all of the different videos that have the hashtag TikTok made me buy it, which is pretty much all dropshipping videos for the most part, 98% of them are going to be drop shipping videos. But this is going to give you a lot of different products, like an insane amount of products in pretty much absolutely every niche. So what I like to do is do TikTok made me buy it and then add the niche that I want to sell or the niche that I'm looking for. So like we always say, niche down in your drop shipping business and then start doing your product research. So let's say I want to sell something in the pet niche, right? I'm going to look up hashtag made me buy it put a little space, and then I could put in the type of product that I want. So let's say my pet store is going to be focused on reptiles. Let's do something different. So hashtag TikTok made me buy it, reptiles. And then you can see that there's quite a few different products on here or different videos that are specific to pets as reptiles and what people are buying. So let's look at the very first one over here. It's from late 2023, and it's obviously geared towards people that own reptiles that use spray bottles. What do they use spray bottles for? most likely to just create a bit of humidity inside the tank. But let's check this out really fast. So as you can see, he's using a regular spray bottle. Don't need that anymore because we have. OK, one of these hand pump sprayers, I think. I think that's, that's what it's called. But as you can see, this is pretty much what I'm talking about. You can go <laughs> little puppy there. They always make videos just go crazy. But as you can see, this is where we are differentiating or getting a bit specific. So hashtag TikTok made me buy it gives you a little bit of everything. Whereas hashtag made me buy it with a niche really focuses down on the type of niche that you're trying to sell. And you'll only see products that are relevant to what you're trying to sell. Now, besides TikTok and all social media, you also have AliExpress. AliExpress isn't just a website where you can go find different suppliers and different products, but they also help you find some of the best products to dropship through the AliExpress dropship center. Now, in order to gain access to this, it's fairly easy. A lot of people don't know about this, but all you have to do is simply go up here. You need to make sure that you're signed in and then go to the DS center, which is the dropship center. And then once you're signed on to that, then you're going to have access to this web page right here. Here, it's kind of similar to what we have over Auto DS, just with a little bit less details. But as you can see, the first thing that you see is the winning products that are on AliExpress. What's the most popular products on AliExpress that people are drop shipping? And it's going to be all of these. So first you have this little magnetic swiper over here. You have what looks to be an ice bath, which is actually really cool. You have wigs. We've actually talked about wigs before or dropshipping hair products. You have a retro Windows computer. What is this retro Windows 3.11? I've never even heard of 3.11. But besides that, you have a bunch of other products in a few different niches. But on top of that, you also have information that can help you choose or pick and choose which one of these products you want to do a bit more research on. So check out these water balloons over here. You can see that they have a pretty good rating. They're currently at 4.8 stars. But the most significant thing here is that over 2000 have been sold. Same thing goes for this anti choking device over here. You can see that it has a five star rating, which is actually really good. And over 220 have sold. So the AliExpress dropship sensor is a great place to get a general overview of what's really popping off on AliExpress 
and what other dropshippers are finding interest in or finding interest to dropship. Now, besides AliExpress, another website that can really help us out with our product research is going to be Amazon. Now on Amazon, you can literally find everything. But for this, what we're going to be doing is going to the best seller section. Now, once we're on the best seller section, this is where you can start to see what people are actually purchasing. This is what consumers are actively looking for. Now, obviously, there's going to be a lot of copyrighted products on here, but that doesn't mean that we can't use this information to our advantage. So what's the one thing that you can notice right off the bat? Me, the first thing that I notice is that there's a lot of tumblers on here. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tumblers right as the first thing that you see. So right now, tumblers are insanely popular. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of brand tumblers like the Stanley, the Simple Modern or the Hydro Jug. But that doesn't mean that we can't use this information to our advantage. I'll show you how in a little bit. But besides that, scroll down a little bit more. You can see a few other products that can potentially be winners. None of the ones up here. Well, maybe the Bluetooth speaker. Bluetooth speakers can definitely help. These are something that are popular throughout the entire year. Keep scrolling down. You have something like this right here, a hammock pool float. This is actually pretty interesting. And then quickly jumping over to the other section that I wanted to show you, you have the new releases. So here you have products that haven't necessarily popped off yet, but have the potential to. There's a lot of products on here that you're going to find that are a bit more generic that you're going to have access to before a lot of other people. So the first thing that we see is this right here, a car air freshener diffuser, which I've seen these before. They're very popular. People purchase them all the time, but this is a different style. Besides that, you also have this right here, which is an upgraded center console for your car. This is something that a lot of people actually need because I've noticed a lot of cars, the center console is completely beat up. Now, I'm sure you've seen this all the time on social media, and that's the tire inflator. So this tire inflator in particular looks to be a brand new model, so it could be worth checking out. And the last product I'm going to go over really fast is this one right here, which is a transfer pump. So what this does is it takes the gas from one car and puts it in another. Now, I know a lot of people do that illegally, but this is for legitimate use. But this is also something that you don't necessarily see all the time. So this is something that could very well start selling fairly quick. I haven't seen very many ads for this or any at all, actually. OK, and the last website I'm going to show you before we get onto our products list is going to be watchcount.com. Watchcount.com is a website that keeps track of products on eBay that have the highest watch count. So what are people watching on eBay? Now, watch count versus sales is completely different. But watch count can really tell you what people are interested in, because I don't know about you, but whenever I'm on eBay and I'm looking at certain things, if something catches my eye, I'll click on watch. So that way I can keep track of it over time and see if it's something that I actually do end up wanting to buy. But what this website does is it gives you just that. It gives you the top products with the top watch count. Now, this is actually really easy to use. It does look like you're being transported back to the early 2000s in terms of the website, but don't let that scare you off because this website is very, very helpful. So let's just quickly look up the keyword phone case and let's just see what comes up. All right. So looking up phone case, obviously phone cases, there's a, an insane amount of them, but just as an example, we can see here that this, wow, this iPhone 15 Pro Max phone case has 6,545 watchers. That's insane. Now let's keep scrolling through and see if there's any unique cases that we can find. So I've actually had one like that before. I don't use iPhone, I use Android, but either way, it's pretty similar. So quickly looking through everything here, we can see that we're not seeing anything extra overly special. So let's look up one more. Let's see water. Actually, let's look up Tumblr. So here we can see, all right, the Starbucks Hawaii one, obviously, because that's Starbucks, but that's not what we're selling. So I'll keep going down. Oh, look at this. This is actually pretty interesting. So looking up tumblers actually reminded me that there are tumblers for stones as well. And that's very niched. So this is actually pretty interesting because here you have a bulk of Brazilian tumbler stones, which you can actually sell or offer to people in that particular niche. So this is one way that you can start to use this to see what keywords can bring up what types of products. Obviously, you're going to be looking for products that you're actually searching for. So if you're looking for tumblers, I was actually expecting to find tumblers like these. But this is something pretty interesting that you can kind of expand upon. All right. So now that we've learned about the different methods for product research and the different websites that you can use to your advantage. Now let's finally go over what everyone's been waiting for. The list of the top popular dropshipping products for you to offer in your dropshipping store that will sell pretty much year round. So the first product on this list is going to be the car cell phone holder. Now, this is something that pretty much everyone can use. This is also something that's a lot of the times 
replaced over and over simply because after a while wear and tear happens and people just need to purchase a new one in my case i need one for both of my cars well i don't have two cars but i have one and my wife has one but in either case it's very important to have one in each one just in case there's something that you need to see while you're driving in particular maps now this is something that again is very popular and it's used a lot but some of the newer cars the ones with the bigger screens that have apple carplay or android auto they typically don't use it but it's still pretty handy to have one so you can have your phone within reach now car cell phone holders come in pretty much every single variation you could think of whether it's an air vent phone holder or a phone holder that simply sticks to either the dashboard or the windshield. And there's also some other cool ones that actually go into the CD slot. I have one of those, but it's funny because some of the newer cars don't even have CD slots anymore. We have a 2024 car and a 2015 car, and the 2015 car obviously has a CD slot, but the newer one, the 24, it doesn't. It actually just has straight for MP3 from your phone. It's crazy how things change. Now, besides that, we have print on demand t-shirts. The cool thing about print on demand t-shirts is that you can put absolutely any design that you want on here. Of course, there's a few designs you wanna stay away from like copyright and things that are already branded. But if you're an artist, if you're creative, or even if you just have ideas, but you can't bring them to life, you could use things like text to image AI, like Kittle, which I've shown a lot of on this page. But these are all different ways that you can use to come up with different designs to place on any one of these different types of products. Now here you can see a ton of different t-shirts that you have available to you, whether it be a basic t-shirt, a long sleeve t-shirt, a tank top, or a tie-dye t-shirt. All of these are fully customizable with your image. So let's just take one for example, let's go ahead and check this one out right here. And let's quickly upload an image so you can see what it's like. So here we have our shirt. All right, so once that's uploaded, now let's just go ahead and change the color. Let's make it a bit more Halloween-like since that's what I chose for the design. And there you go. Now, whenever your customer places an order for this product, once you save an import, whenever somebody places an order for this product, the AutoDS print on demand suppliers are gonna go ahead and print this product, manufacture it, ship it out to your customer, and they're gonna get it just the way that you see it here. Now, earlier, another product that we saw that's very trending is tumblers. And that's another thing that you can actually customize on here as well. So you have different types of tumblers that you can customize, but besides that, you can also go to a website like AliExpress and look for different types of tumblers on here. Now, obviously, these don't have customization options, but you are gonna get different variations in terms of styles. So look at this one right here. This is one that actually has a pretty interesting handle that you don't typically see often the more popular tumblers like let's say the hydro jug or the hydro flask or the stanley they don't have these features some of them aren't even spill proof so this is something that's very very good to be able to offer and a very important feature that you can tell your customers as well but just looking through here you can see a bunch of other ones obviously stay away from some like this that have hello kitty on them or that they say that they're stanley's just stay away from those and look for the ones that are more generic because a lot of the times ones that are more generic Sometimes you're gonna have different features as well. All right, next up we have the Derma Jade Roller. This is something that people are always purchasing because it's supposed to help reduce puffiness, improve circulation, and just overall have healthier skin. Now, Derma Jade Rollers, they work up to a certain point because to be completely honest with you, after a few months of use, they typically start to either wear down, the little pieces start to break, so they do need to be replaced. So this is also something that people are buying every once in a while that typically has a consistent flow of sales. Next up, we have baby swaddles. Now, one of my favorite niches is the baby niche. Babies are very, very lucrative to say the least, simply because people are always having babies. Every single year, hundreds of thousands of babies are born around the world and parents, they're not scared to spend a pretty penny on their comfort or just their overall well-being. So because of that, the baby niche is very lucrative. And one of the first products that parents purchase is a baby swaddle. Baby swaddles help keep the kids calm, it helps them sleep, and it overall is very beneficial for them. So looking through AliExpress, you can see that there's tons of different styles. There's some that have Velcro, there's some that are just the basic blanket, different types of designs, some for boys, some for girls, some that are a bit more neutral, and some like these. This is actually the style that we used and my kid absolutely loved it. So this is one where you just simply put the baby in and you zip it up. It's pretty much a very easy to use swaddle. Now, up next for the millennials, we have plant hangers. Millennials are known as plant parents because apparently us millennials, we have plants all over the house. Not me though, I'm not a plant person, but my wife is starting to get into that. So that's just proof enough, I guess, for me. But just overall, 
As a generation, millennials typically do have a lot of plants either around the house or outside the house. We consider ourselves plant parents, apparently. Now, on Etsy, you can find tons of hanging planters. These are very unique, they have a very nice aesthetic, and just overall, they look really good. And best of all, they're hanging. They don't really take up too much space around the house or on the floor. But one of the best places that you can source some of these is going to be Etsy, because on here you're going to find a lot of handmade ones, which can really be sold for a bit higher markup. But not just that, you're going to find a lot of them that are very aesthetic. Next up, we have LED strip lights. Now, LED strip lights can be used for pretty much anything when it comes to aesthetics or even things like video creation. So I don't know if you've noticed, but a lot of people that you watch on YouTube, a lot of the times they have some sort of neon light somewhere in the picture. In my case, you can kind of see it right there, right behind our plaque. Now, that in itself is a neon sign, but I have been thinking of right here, just putting up a few LEDs to just make it glow a little bit and just look a lot nicer. But besides that, a lot of people in their videos, they have neon lights. If you've noticed on TikTok, there's a lot of neon lights on the roofs. People have them on the corners and their shelves and their display cases everywhere. Neon LED lights are insanely popular and very, very versatile. And best part is, is that you can find them for pretty cheap. Up next for all cat owners, we have cat toys. Cat toys are very cheap to source and can actually be sold at a pretty good price. A lot of the times cat toys are going to be destroyed because cats just like to break things a lot of the times they like to scratch it up bite it kind of like a dog sometimes except in a different manner different fashion but either way cat toys a lot of the times are pretty dispensable so they're going to be breaking they're going to be replaced so cat toys are a very evergreen niche moving on from cat toys we have a portable vacuum now a portable vacuum can actually be used to clean up all of those hairs from that cat that was just playing all over the house <laughs> but not just that since they're portable it can also be used pretty much anywhere whether it be on your desk to clean up some crumbs in the car in the living room wherever it is that it needs to be used pretty sure you've seen portable vacuums lately a lot on tiktok and if you're selling this product it's very good to be able to show at least in content marketing it's very good to be able to show its usefulness not just in one spot but in a variety of places so that way people can see how versatile it really is and last but not least the last product that we're going to talk about is going to be a collagen supplement now we typically don't drop ship supplements too much because of all of the dangers behind them a lot of safety concerns but there are some supplements that are very very good for you and that really don't have any downsides so collagen is one of those Collagen is one of those products that people are always looking for because they have a lot of health benefits. They help with smooth skin, healthy joints, and just overall vitality. There's a lot of people that take these kinds of supplements. It's not geared towards just one niche of people, like let's say people who work out or older people. Collagen is used by pretty much everybody at any age range, regardless of what activities they're doing. So this is a very evergreen niche that can really be used to be promoted to a lot of different people. So those are some of the top dropshipping products and some of the different resources that you can use to your advantage for your product research. What did you think of today's list? Let me know down in the comments below. Now remember, if you want access to the cheat sheet with everything that I talked about today, just go ahead and drop a comment down below with the hashtag winning products and let me know your takeaway from this video. Also, quick note, if you want to read a little bit more on everything that I talked about, there is going to be a link to a relevant article down in the description below. So you can check that out if you want to read up on this a little bit further. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. As always, it truly means a lot. Please make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. My name is Mario with AutoDS, and I'll catch you all next time.